just want to stop and say, yes, I'm God, be ready now, gonna show you how. Tell me, do you like this game? Let's pretend it's true. It's me and you and all our friends, like the Musker Hounds. supposed to be on vacation having fun true right i know i must say i he, i see he oh uh, 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 take a seat pip relax the muzzle of gold rescue monarch we must go now quickly it's some kind of riddle animal vegetable or mineral is this really a tough one no you're wrong please pay careful attention i was at the monastery visiting with my cousin panaflo well guess what mm -hmm. i hate to create too much suspense but prepare yourself huh? the king i met him there you met the king Pip. he's back in the palace hey don't be dumb i'm telling you that big lug's just a fake uh -huh. mm. i happen to have found the legitimate king an impossibility are you mad uh I saw him. We spoke together. But I swear it. You must listen. It's really him. Yeah. There were three men who kidnapped me. It was awful. There was a fleur de lis on their tunics, although it had been crossed out and was covered in flames. <gasps> then I was pulled from my bed and brought here. Now someone must bring the Musker house to my rescue. Incredible. Uh, and I believe you. But who's the Majesty back at the palace? My evil brother has had his minions kidnap me. He's falsely taken my place on the throne of France, see? A brother who is your twin? You're correct, we are identical. My father was advised to hide one of us away and I was oldest. They were convinced the kingdom would be in danger otherwise. I swear, they took my brother, Monsieur Blancbeck, in order to hide him away in the monastery. There he grew bitter and came to hate me. It's not my fault I was born a few seconds before him. I've tried to reason with him, but it was all in vain. He says I've stolen the throne. He wants revenge on me and the country. I'm afraid that France itself may not be safe from him. You see? Don't worry, sir. Me and the Muska Hounds will save you. Gee, is this all true? <laughs> What's that? You doubt my word? 
You know, I may be a little crazy, but I'm not nuts. Huh? Yeah. I apologize. Yeah, now I see. This explains the king's behavior. He's an imposter. Wait. You gotta think straight. You can't go rescuing him all alone. Yeah, it'd be au revoir. A lot of guards? Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. I will stay calm. Yeah. First, I'll find Monsieur Treville, and he'll tell all the others. Then, we all ride together to the rescue of our king. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> now you're talking. Okay, all aboard. Right. <clears throat> Bogdanian and Pip rode to the palace as fast as Sandy could carry them. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just hanging. You know, one of these days, it'd be nice if someone loaned me a saddle. All right, stop. What's your name? Oh, up. Uh, I'm a muskahound. I've come here to visit Monsieur Treville. You may enter. Go ahead. Head away. Hurry up, Pip. Here I come. And, gentlemen, aside from all the other implements you may need, you also must bring many food supplies. You must be careful to have enough basics to make do should any problems arise. Yes, oh. I have brought news. Rather important yeah. as well, you know. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Wait. Yeah. I should think since you entered without even knocking that it is crucial news, D'Artagnan. Kidnappers have taken the king. Huh? Amazing. Are you sure? I saw him with these eyes. He was taken where no one would find him, but I did. Now we've got to go to the rescue. What? Well, I never. I saw the king this morning. Your silly story is sheer nonsense. That wasn't the king at all. He's a I fake. I met up with the king a long way from Paris. I was visiting my cousin Panaflo, who lives at the Lay Dominique Monastery, when I bumped into his majesty in one of the cells. We were chatting away, and he happened to mention he'd been kidnapped by his evil twin brother. He wanted me to get help to rescue him. Then we'd better go. This sounds great. Right, Porthos? Huh? Yep. Fight spells! What you've told us has started to make a lot of sense. This clears up quite a bit, Pip. Habits of his which altered and other strange events which were extremely worrisome to the Queen and I. Ah, uh, but unfortunately I'm unable to leave the palace myself or we risk that our enemy's suspicions might be raised. I'm sending you to save him. We all must leave the castle separately. Then we'll all meet on the old back road. Nobody will guess where we're going, right? Mm-hmm. All right? All for one! And, and one, one for all! all. Some time later, in the woods near the palace, Milady was practicing her archery. Not a bad shot. Huh? Uh, excuse me, Milady. I have brought some news for you. that they hope to reach Le Dominique Monastery before nightfall. Huh, why a monastery? That's so strange. Do you know? There was a lot of talk about being on a rescue mission. On a rescue mission, you say? So, thank you. You heard much? Is there more? No. The four of them galloped off down the road. Hmm. I must report this to the palace immediately. The idea is hilarious. Leave, you ineffectual fool. Oh, so sorry. Didn't see you there. You always manage to get in my way, you boo. <laughs> I hate that bird. <laughs> Eminence, it's good to see you. Always a pleasure, milady. Speaking to an aide who's competent is a nice change. I grow so tired talking to Widimer. 
I bring you news which will interest you greatly. My spies have brought me some information which concerns the Muskahounds. Ah, the Muskahounds. I enjoy discussing my enemies. It makes the day pass so quickly. Eminence, they're planning something, but I'm not sure what. They left Paris by the back road. My spy overheard them say they were going to Les Dominique Monastery, where they hoped to rescue someone. Uh, who on earth could they be rescuing? We don't keep any prisoners at that monastery, unless I've forgotten someone. I don't believe so. I'm puzzled as well, but that's what he heard. Well, now, isn't this interesting? And suspicious, yes, indeed. Sounds dumb, yet. I'll send Widimer to investigate. This may be very illuminating. There it is! If you gotta be locked in a cell with a mask on, it's as good a place as any! Yeah, but you can't judge a book by putting your eggs in one basket. Yep, what's the quickest way in? A map would be terrific if you could possibly draw one. <laughs> Drawing's a snap! Presenting your map! The two doorways are both guarded. There's the main door and the kitchen door. There are two guards at either one, here and here. Now they keep the king here. Follow this. There's a staircase which leads directly to a corridor. We can sneak down that without attracting attention. Get it? All right. Now there's a real mean fella who always brings the king his food. I had a little trouble with him last time, but once you defeat him, it's a breeze. Then we get the king and we bring him back out without being spotted. Hey, it's simple when you got a guy like me here. Of course, I'm not saying I should be leader of this rescue mission. I'm just saying that I should be in command. I see. Well, Commander, which way should we go in? I would recommend the kitchen door. The key is kept by a monk who's in charge when he's awake. Do you have a plan? We certainly don't want to meet up with all those guards and start to fight. D'Artagnan, don't be concerned. The guards play dice at this time every day. Now, ain't I clever? Yes, you're amazing. Now, do you think you could slip into a little hole and get into the building? Why, naturally. Pip has everything completely under control, as usual. Great. Gee, I hope our commander doesn't mind stealing the key and opening the door. Not at all, Porthos. I'm doing everything. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Aramis, did you just cough? No, I didn't. But I could swear I heard someone cough. You're imagining it. There weren't any sounds that I'm aware of. Hey, Commander Pip, think we should stop to investigate? They were hearing things. Come on, let's get going. Almost gave us away. Well, it's time to get underway. First, we take care of any guards we might find in the corridor. Then we must deal with the mean guard by the cell. And we got to take care of him quick. Then we have to hope the other guards don't try to interfere with us. Other than that, it's real simple. Back at the palace, Blancbeck, the king's evil twin brother, was in conference with the Count of Bougeau. Our plan is complete. All is well. No one even suspects you're not the king. Justice has been served, and you rule as you were meant to. <laughs> you're right, Bougeau, my wicked friend. It was always my fate that I should wear the crown. <laughs> Imagine how he feels. Funny, isn't it? He sits on a prison bench, and I'm on his throne. <laughs> <laughs> you are smarter, Richelieu, and the rest of them. That's right. I'm cleverer than all of them, and France belongs to me. <laughs> and you'll rule for many years to come while Louis' mask grows tight of your majesty. All right. <laughs> Shake a leg, or shake a tail, or shake a leg and a tail. Mm. It's sort of foreboding. Well, it looks like no one's gonna let me in. I guess it'd be dumb to yell for someone to come to the door. They just hit me with swords, and that's no fun. Well. <laughs> this is perfect. He's fast asleep. I just gotta remember to be quiet as a mouse. You're back! But it's about time. I've been worried sick. Huh? You want everyone to know I'm back, or can we keep the news to the two of us? Guess what? I brought the Muska Hounds. They're outside waiting. We just have to huh? get the key. What? My you mind. we'll grab it? Yeah, I'll uh, stand on your back and slip it away. Oh, I always have to be in the bottom. Ah, uh, gee, if you're sure it's going to help his majesty. Mm-hmm. Oh, don't step on my face! I've got the key, just hold on. Seems we have a slight problem here, cousin. It's times like this that I wish you were a giraffe. What? Uh. <laughs> All right, Panaflo, give me a lift up. I won't be stepped on. Come on, Panaflo, quit complaining. If you were to
as wide as you are tall, we can trade places once in a while. It'll just take a minute. All right, all right. Now open slowly. Be careful you don't make noise or move too quick. Okay, Muska Hound. Go ahead. I'm seeing stars again. It's always the same. We fall on our noses. It's true, Pip. Outside the monastery, some very interested parties were having a hard time making much sense of the events. That was pretty suspicious, wouldn't you say? The way they all slipped into the monastery at the same time seemed completely innocent to me. Should we follow them in just to make sure? No. Waiting here to see who they rescue is less dangerous. We risk nothing and gain all. You're lucky I'm so clever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bonjour! Uh, who is that? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Animus!
had been completed. The king was rescued, but they were still a long way from Paris. Somebody yelling something? Yeah, sure sounded like the Muska Hounds. Do you think we should prepare to Quiet. attack them? Wait. Right, it looks all clear out here. Vizar looks great. No one had guessed you're the king. I agree. I think I look quite authentic. It's a clever disguise, Dog Tanya. How odd. They went and rescued a monk. Do you think we should give him back? You idiot. A monk is of no great concern to us. We have been wasting our time. Let's go. Back to Paris? No. Seems strange. Back to Paris and all the Your Majesty, night is nearly here. We've got to decide on a good locale to camp. If I may, I'd recommend we stop in five. As you say. One. I two, if I don't come with you. Four. And five. be pretty proud to have a cousin who turned out to be as heroic as me, right? Gosh, Pip, you were wonderful, but the Muska <clears throat> Hounds did most of the work. I've never seen anything like it. I even got to meet the king. <clears throat> Wish I didn't have to go back home. What? You all lead such exciting lives. Hey, Panaflo, the Muska Hounds only have room for one mouse, and I'm him. Just one yeah, mouse? that's right. <laughs> but which one do you choose? <laughs> well, I pick Panaflo. He complains a lot less. Yeah, he's a whole lot fatter, too. I'd feel more comfortable with a guy who likes to eat. I've got <clears throat> the solution. I think Pip should head back. And then your cousin can continue on with us. <laughs> Very funny. Ha 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 ha. Relax, Pip. We've been joking. We like you a lot. Although we tease you a bit, remember you're the one that saved the king and France. Yeah. Thanks. I know. Flo will return to the monastery where his true home is. But for Dog Tanyon and his fellow Muska hounds, the journey has just begun. They must avoid both Richelieu's and Blancbeck's men in the perilous days to come. In our next episode, Whittemer and his men return and confront Dog Tanyon, the Muska hounds, and the disguised king. Whittemer finally takes command, but only succeeds in getting Dog Tanyon angry. And an angry Dog Tanyon is not a sight that the enemy likes to see. They learn that fighting Dog Tanyon is not as easy as falling off a log. Be sure to join Dog Tanyon and his friends in their next exciting adventure. <laughs>